please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. I'm Megan White. And I'm Nevaeh Whitman. Today is Wednesday, November 1st. Coming up, it is activity period week one, and we have all of your club news. Also, we have some pictures from Falcoween yesterday. We'll we will be right back with all this and your school news. <laughs> Class news, senior Powerpuff players and cheerleaders. There will be practice Friday at South Hills from 12 to 1 in the afternoon. There will also be practice at South Hills from 10 to 11.30 on Sunday. Both practices are mandatory. If you would like to participate in the halftime routine at the game next week. The class of 2018 is selling t-shirts. Ask your homeroom teacher for a t-shirt order form. Order forms and money should be turned into Mrs. Sullivan in room 809 no later than Monday. Seniors, graduation is approaching. Jossens will be here today to take orders for announcements and caps and gowns during lunch periods. All seniors should be checking in with Jossens representative to get their cap and gown order for, for commencement. In club news, today, today is activity period week one. Check in your homeroom for the list of clubs that meet today. The pep club meeting for today will be, will be for officers only in room 202. French club. $5 dues must be paid ASAP to Madam Weber. See an officer if you have any questions. Drama club members. All money for barbecue tickets need to be turned in by tomorrow, November 2nd. See Mrs. Haynes if you need more tickets to sell. Model UN members. Today is the last day to sign up for the SVMUN conference on November 14th. Please sign up with Dr. Zaria in room 108 by tomorrow. Minithon Family Relations Committee will meet today during activity period in the cafeteria. In school news, admission representatives will be visiting from the following schools. Tuesday, November 7th, Bridgewater College, located in Virginia. Monday, November 13th, Unity College, located in Maine. If you're interested in any in attending any of these meetings, please sign up at the desk in the College and Career Center located in the high school library. Yesterday was Falcoween, and many students had some pretty interesting costumes. This guy is literally lunch in the lunchroom. He's such a hot dog. And it looks like Avanach is suffer suffering from a case of senioritis. This is very contagious, so keep your distance and wash your hands frequently if you are near him. And Asandra Day meets the Day of the Dead. The band got into their spirit at the evening practice on Monday night. Here are some members dressed up for practice. To see a slideshow of all the pictures taken, visit cchstoday.com. Stranger Things is a Netflix horror series that was released in July 2016 that stars Finn Wolfhard as Mike Wheeler, Millie Bobby Brown as Eleven, Gaden Martirazzo as Dustin Henderson, and Kayla McLaughlin as Lucas Sinclair. Season 2 of the popular show was released on October 27th, and some have already completed watching the new season. That's some binge watching. BB2 correspondents Sierra Gunnels, Megan Carpenter, and Megan Newman interview four people about how they felt about the new season. I'm most excited about what happened to Will because it left off a little cutscene sort of thing where he like spit out this bug, and I really am interested in what happened to him, and I'm also excited about the new characters. I'm most excited for to f like find out what happens to Will. For season two, I want to find out more about the Upside Down. I want to find out what happens to the people that go there. I'm excited for season two um, to find out what happened to Eleven because season one left you on a cliffhanger not really knowing what happened. My favorite character is Chief Hopper because his past had a very dark ending and he, it defined him and who he is and what he is now. And he's very brave, independent, and he seems interested in all the situations, and he just helps out a lot. Mike would probably be my first favorite character. Eleven is my favorite character. She showed up a few episodes into the show. She's very mysterious and interesting. There's not much like you know about her. You find it out by like watching what she does. I don't know about you, but I already finished the whole second season. Well, I didn't get to watch the second season yet, but Twitter already ruined it for me. 
and in sports news. Winter sports concussion testing continues on Monday for winter sports. Girls basketball will be on November 6th. Wrestling November 7th. All tests will start at 2.45 in room 701. Please bring your computer charged or charging cord. All students who have a fall weight, weight form pass, please turn them into the high school athletic office. If you want a winter pass, renewal applications are now available. Applications for winter passes are now available in the high school office. You must have an approved winter weight room pass in order to use the weight room. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Megan White. And I'm Nevaeh Whitman. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.